give every gov government at all levels, government at the national level, government at the county level, emergency resources. There is always room for any county to adjust their budgets to take care of emergencies. So while it is uh, true that we have, uh, we have an emergency situation and we need to respond, every level of government has been built into the budget that a certain percentage of their budget can be reorganized to meet emergency requirements. It is the reason why, as early as uh, last week, we already had food items being sent out to uh, places where there are floods. My deputy has been leading the charge on behalf of national government, making sure that those who are affected in different parts of the country are at, at, attended to. As I talk to you, a whole of government approach is underway to deal with the flooding, to deal with the mass lights, and all the other attendant issues. As I mobilize using this conference, the necessary respond, uh, resources to, for us to be able to respond effectively not just to the floods, but to the after effects of the floods. We will need development resources to repair the roads. We will need resources to rebuild homes for those who have been affected. We will need resources to resettle. We will need resources to deal with food security issues. This is what we are doing and we are having a whole of government approach. We are uh, deploying our resources in the um, provincial administration sector we are working with counties, the national government is working, and we are working with development partners to make sure that we have a whole of government and a whole of society approach. I don't think this is the moment for blame game. I think we should just address ourselves to the issues, move with speed to respond, and also ask citizens, as we have called on citizens, to move away from areas of danger areas where there are possibilities of floods, to be careful whenever they are crossing rivers, to be careful on overloading of some of the uh, um, uh, equipment they are using for crossing uh, rivers, so that we are all careful and we don't endanger our lives, even as we take precautionary measures as government to make sure that we support those who are victims of floods or mudslides or the other items. No urgent thing to do is to provide the requisite resources, put in place the necessary plans, and ensure that we deploy the resources and the plan to be able to deal with this situation as we are doing. In fact, tomorrow very early in the morning, we have a cabinet meeting that is going to address itself to this issue. I already called an emergency multi-agency team last week to be able to set up a 24-hour emergency uh, desk that will look at all the issues around the situation we are faced with. And I am very confident that we should be able to respond in good time. And we are going to make sure that we deploy every resource that is within our reach to make sure that we take care of this situation, even as we see the next steps if it gets to a level where it becomes absolutely necessary for us to declare a national disaster, then those steps will be carried out.